Well, today we're here speaking with uh, Chairman Donatelli. He's the new chairman of GOPAC. Uh, it's a very prominent, actually the most prominent uh, Republican PAC that deals with um, helping energize, um, activate, train, and uh, uh, inspire, if you will, uh, Republican campaigns and grassroots activities around the nation. Um, thanks for having us today. It's great to talk to you. Thanks, man. It's great to talk to you, too. We want to ask you a few questions today, some stuff about what's going on here in New Jersey, but also some things about your mission and uh, what's going on nationally. But I guess the logical place to start is since a lot of our readers may not be familiar with GOPAC, I thought maybe you could just give us a little bit of background on the organization's mission and uh, what they do to help Republicans win elections. Sure. Uh, well, GOPAC's been in existence since the 1970s. And we've had many distinguished chairs over the years. Uh, some of the names that your readers may know, Governor Pete DuPont of Delaware was the founder of the organization. Uh, former Speaker Newt Gingrich was chairman for many years and probably did as much as anyone to popularize the organization. Uh, and then Michael Steele, who's currently the chairman of the Republican National Committee, is my immediate predecessor. So. Uh, plus, we have a, a lot of other distinguished past chairmen, so uh, we've got a very uh, long and, uh, I think, uh, distinguished pedigree. The historic mission of GOPAC has been to elect, to locate, elect, and train uh, the next generation of Republican leaders. Uh, the idea being that when an opportunity presents itself for a Republican to step into a national race or a federal race, that we have a strong enough bench uh, so that we have a, a good candidate to run in that race. And when you think about the fact that uh, the President of the United States just five years ago was a member of the Illinois legislature, well, the time to move to the top, the wait to move to the top isn't nearly what it once was. So I think uh, the uh, mission of Go Back is more important than ever before. You mentioned how GOPAC has had a very um, uh, illustrious string of leaders since its inception. Uh, Newt Gingrich, Michael Steele, a lot of other luminaries in our party. Uh, you yourself, though, have a very accomplished resume. You worked uh, under James Baker, James Baker, you worked uh, for Bob Dole, uh, you worked for President Reagan. Uh, now that you're taking the reins at GOPAC, what do you want to improve upon or do differently to take GOPAC in the direction you think it should? Uh, well, uh, I, our historic mission, as I said, is to train and elect the next generation of Republican leaders. Um, I think our ambitions these next two years, I would add a few things to that. Uh, number one, we have reapportionment coming up. The ten elections will be the last elections that we have before uh, the state legislatures draw the legislative map, uh, both for the House of Representatives and for the state legislative chambers. And our goal is to pick up more Republican seats so we can be uh, more competitive there. There are uh, an extraordinary large number of legislative chambers that were within five votes of control one way or the other. And so we'd like to uh, be a player at the margin and try to tip as many chambers to Republican control as we can. Um, secondly, I think that our party needs to broaden its reach, and so we're actively searching for candidates that you might call um, non-traditional Republican candidates. We're very interested in finding the next generation of Hispanic Republicans, black Republicans, young Republicans, women. Um, uh, and the good news there is that we have plenty of such candidates if we'll just be a little better in trying to locate them. Um, I think, uh, thirdly, uh, we uh, at GOPAC pride ourselves on being on the cutting edge of technology, and uh, we want to continue to do that um, by uh, utilizing the new media uh, for fundraising, for political organizing, for recruitment, for uh, distributing information, of uh, all those sorts of things. Um, and then finally, I guess we'd probably like to step up the messaging side a little bit, uh, GOPAC is very well known for recruiting candidates and training candidates. I think this cycle we want to maybe do a little more in teaching our candidates how to talk about issues. You, uh, I think we've got a 
lot of good Republican proposals floating around out there, but um, we're not as good in communicating uh, and communicating with the voters the benefits of those policies. So we'll probably want to do a little more on the messaging side. Our motto is that good candidates run winning campaigns with good ideas. And so we'll probably want to do a, a little more to uh, popularize the good ideas that we think are out there that our party can take advantage of. You, you talked about new media and how one of the things that GOPAC has worked on and one of the things you intend to continue to work on is teaching conservatives how to use new media. And I mean, as a blogger, I know here in the state of New Jersey, one of our challenges is acquainting some of our existing party leaders, but also training new people how to use something like Twitter or a blog or even just start a simple Facebook group. And uh, I guess naturally, you know, our ability to successfully use these types of mediums correlates to our ability to get our message out, which you said is another one of your major roles. So I, I guess maybe just asking you to um, you know, go into it a little bit further, what, what particular initiatives do you have in mind, or what things does GOPAC want to do to try to uh, train more Republicans to be able to use these new age instruments uh, in the media more effectively so that we can recruit more people and get our message out there? Well, it's an important part of our training program. You know, the, the traditional curriculum of how to run a winning campaign includes field organizing, uh, how to develop a winning message, fundraising. And I think to that, you've got to add working in, in, in handling the new media. Uh, and, and that goes into all those areas. Uh, using the new media means using the web for fundraising. Um, it means using the web in, in a social organizing to organize your supporters and to reach out to voters more effectively. Um, it means disseminating information on the web in a timely manner. And a lot of our training materials are on our website, gobeck.com, and we're going to continue to update and make more information available on the web. So. You know, the web and the new media is changing the face of politics every single election. Uh, more and more it changes because of, of the new media and the web. And um, that's going to be true. I think the 10 elections are going to see some innovation. Uh, 12 is going to see uh, additional innovations. And, um, you know, we have to keep up with those. I. I think we're further along than a lot of people think. You know, McCain raised $100 million on the web uh, in the last election. Now, Obama raised $300 million, But $100 million is not come change. I mean, it was a... Certainly not. <laughs> quantum increase over what had been done in '04, And so, um, so I think that, that we have, you know, we're, we're a little better off than some people think, but nevertheless, this is an area that changes so rapidly that I think uh, it deserves uh, our concerted attention uh, as we continue to develop ways to make the new media work for Republicans.